Welcome to Chop Shop Motors. My name is Clay, and this video is going to be circling back to the Vortec truck, which is a 49 Ford F5. And we're gonna do another phase of progress on this truck. So it's been probably eight months since we've touched it, and the owner is ready to move forward on it, which is fantastic. So we're gonna attack the fuel system. What that means is we're gonna pull the fuel tank out of it, we're gonna have it uh, professionally cleaned, we're gonna check all of the things uh, having to do with the fuel system. We'll check the sender and see if it is gonna survive, fingers crossed, because getting a sender for this is gonna be tricky um, if it needs one. <clears throat> and we're gonna either replace, we're gonna clean or replace the fuel lines and we're going to put an electric fuel pump on it and we're going to put a uh, pressure regulator on it and make get the fuel system all handled so it'll run off of its own fuel tank so that is that's kind of what this phase is all about so next step let's get the fuel tank jerked out of it So if we look inside, you see the inside of the truck is, you know, pretty original. Uh, I mean, it's just been an ongoing work truck its whole life. So uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It, it really hasn't, you know, it's not one of those trucks that is, uh, it's been abandoned in a field for 50 years or anything like that. I mean, this was more or less earning its keep for most of its life. It hasn't been used um, over the last probably five years, maybe longer, much, but it also hasn't been terribly neglected. So let's take a look at the fuel tank. So this is the really cool stuff. So if you look back here, the location of the tank on these trucks is behind the seat, but look at how cool this is. It's got the original jack in it. Um, Got a little mounting point on the bottom of the I hope you can see that that is so cool there you go the a mounting point where it's kind of screws to the sub to the cross member in the floor of the cab and then up on top it's got one of the like a toolbox basically that's factory that's how they came at least um, I've seen multiples like that and inside the toolbox you have that big lug wrench which is we're gonna need that when we pull the wheels off of this thing big lug wrench and some miscellaneous tools just the stuff that a work truck has behind the seat and that's it's all there and it's all going back in it when we're all done so let's get everything pulled out of here and get this tank pulled out so I'm gonna take just a second and give you a peek at this jack as I'm pulling it out. It, it's just, this kind of stuff fascinates me. And it's so interesting that this is, you know, authentic to when this truck was built. And it's really cool. But I'll tell you, this bad boy is high on the primitive. So my guess is this probably wouldn't pass OSHA anymore. So you've got this, you've got this big bar that goes in here, right? And you pull it to jack it up. And this thing kind of ratchets to the next piece. And there isn't anything that holds it from going down other than friction. So you go up with this pawl, it locks in the gear, you push it down. So typically this is gonna be way up here. You're gonna lock it down, pull it down. And then to let the truck back down again, this flips over the other way and you go the other way with it. And then that comes back. And super simple, 
but I mean, there, it is it is the art of primitive. But I'm, you know, you look at it and it's not like it hasn't been used. It's been used. So, guys, because I don't, I don't know. I don't think this is. This is going to take some brute strength, probably, with this jack to get this kind of truck, this kind of weight up in the air. So I'm going to say, guys, or or very strong women, have used this to get this truck up in the air. So that's that is fascinating. It's totally functional, in good shape. Um, I hope to never actually ever have to use that in real life. But it sure is cool to look at and it's going to be a continuing part of the truck project. Okay, back to your regular programming. Here's the progress so far. Gas tank is loose. It's uh, got the sender unhooked. Seats moved forward. The toolbox has been removed and it looks like it's going to clear with the seat moved forward so I don't have to pull the seat out quite yet and which is nice so i'd like to get it to be a more drivable vehicle um, after this tank has been fixed uh, so that's nice and uh, so a little bit of progress stinky gas fumes coming out and just what i expected all right let's get this tank out of here the gas tank is out we pulled the sender out, which was uh, came out really nice. That's kind of a surprise, and a win both. So the sender is out. Here's what the sender looks like. If you haven't seen one of these early Fords, they all look about like this. So it has a little diaphragm-looking thing up in there, and uh, I don't know where all the magic happens. This particular one is stuck. The float has, you can see it, it's got holes rusted in it. So it was probably in the, this gas tank is empty for a very long time, even probably when it was in service. So what I'm gonna do with it is, I'm not gonna try to force anything. I am going to get the big chunks of scale off of it and I'm going to put the sender in evaporust and I'm going to see if I can get whatever's got it locked up to free up and then we'll do an old check and see if it's any good. It might not be, I, it's a shot in the dark, but let's be as gentle with it as possible to see if we can save it. So that's what I'll do next.